Hey people and welcome to Frozen Gaming. I know what you're thinking, it's been a long time since I've done a video. And yeah, I'm going to give you a brief explanation to what happened there. Back in June, back at E3, um, I originally wanted to do some E3 videos with me discussing what had been announced at E3. And like try and get your guys' opinion as well about what had been released and what you think about the, the games coming out. Unfortunately, I got hit with a cold. Followed by another cold. Followed by another cold, which that third cold, cold kind of recurred over E3. So that resulted in me having almost next to no voice. So I had no voice to do the video. <laughs> and that's why I ended up doing music videos. And um, that pretty much lasted all the way through June. And then in July I started up a course with Evoca College to learn about gaming development which I'm absolutely loving and that's what I've been spending most of my time concentrating on is just you know concentrating on assessments concentrating on studying and that's pretty much why I haven't done videos since then <coughs> I want you guys to know that I definitely have not given up on the channel I did not quit or anything like that I didn't have enough of anything I still quite enjoy this it's been a while since I've done this so I might be a bit sketchy <laughs> So apologies in advance. Um, but yeah, currently the school's on holidays, so I'm on holidays and you know, Christmas has passed, New Year's has passed. Oh actually with those passing, happy Merry Christmas to everyone out there who celebrates Christmas and happy New Year's to everybody out there and happy holidays to all those others that don't celebrate Christmas. Um, yeah. And with that being said. I shall get started in playing the Stanley Parable. I've been dying to play this game like ever since I saw PewDiePie play it for the first time. I just thought it was an awesome game. And I've been working on this like 2D RPG sort of game that kind of uses the narrator as a strong lead, not lead character, but the strong presence in the game. Totally inspired from this game because I love I love I haven't actually played the final product and I haven't seen any videos of the final product. Uh, I have played the demo. That was awesome fun. And I've watched some of PewDiePie's early videos when this was still in beta or alpha. I'm not too sure what stage it was at. Anyways, let's begin. And oh yeah. The end is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if this is actually going to work because this has dropped down to three frames on my screen. So whether or not this will load, uh, whether or not this will record properly, I don't know. Anyway, this loading screen is taking a while. Come on, loading screen. There we go. One, one jump. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Big jump. We need a big jump. Oh, it's slowly moving. Big jump. Yeah, there's a few big jumps. Little jump. Big jump. Come on, another big jump. Down to two frames now. Come on, buddy. Mm -hmm. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. <laughs> Though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. What a boring job. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. 
Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk oh, and stepped up. out of his office. What if I don't want to go out of my office? You're not my mom! I realize who the voice reminds me of, the man who does the voice. Reminds me of the voice if you ever watched this child program called Poker You. Um, yeah, sounds exactly like that. Okay, I'm out of my office. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Where are they? Stanley Everybody's to go gone. To the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Or I can go home. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. No, I cannot, except for a mug. Who farted? <laughs> What's this one say? I hate Mondays. Okay, well there's no real other... Nope. 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 None of these doors do anything. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. I like work. I just hate my boss. What's that one say? Smile? I think so. I turn off your computer! Can I turn on your computer? Nope. Can I press the phone? Nope. Computer's off. That person just has a... Sh this person only has a pencil sharpener. He's the office pencil sharpener. Can't even turn that one off. Scanner. Bleep bleep. Bleep 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 bleep. Nope. More okay. Nothing to do here. I think. Can I annoy the narrator? Okay. Oh, pretty picture. Pretty picture. Let's go back in my office just to annoy this guy. Open my door. I can't. Okay, anyway. Let's progress further. And Woo! More stuff to push. You'd reckon I'd have an archive room to put all these boxes in? I hate... No. Be my valentine. Where do I get I hate? Turn that computer off. Who farted? Holy filing cabinets. Can I nope, can't go in there. Nope, can't go in there. Why do you need a sharpener? There's an office sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Nope. Nope. Okay. Guess this way then. Nope. I hate Mondays. It's a leaf. Nope. 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 When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did no such thing. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Maybe I did. Well, maybe I'll suss out every single door and make sure none of them open. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Ah, jinx! It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Immaculate, there's a... simply stood here, drinking it all in. That's not immaculate. There's paperwork everywhere and open boxes and... What's that? Can I get that? There's a notepad. Yes, this really, cup really worth it. Lying everywhere. A room, a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, <coughs> here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Fuel? <coughs> at this really? point, 
Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> There's coffee mugs everywhere. This is how we get ants. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Fine, we'll move on. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. No! I want to go back! first open door on his left to get back to business. Ooh, hello room. I will be... Check this door. Check this door. Ooh! Do not lie if you are lying right now. Stop. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Your insults have no effect. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. One thousand dollars. Okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been hey. neglecting? What? Yeah. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, Lies! Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Lies, you want to harm me. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm colorblind! Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Still colorblind! I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, Eww. exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Mm, no. <laughs> hey! No! I said no! Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, let's go that Oh, one. of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm, wonderful. You under one? Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's take... No. Uh, this one. Now... Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, 
Honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. No, it would not. taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Hey. Let me boot it up. Okay. I don't know where this is going right now. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> oh damn, I failed. Heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for you. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Now yeah, what's he giving me? Minecraft! He's well, given me Minecraft! Any better? Yes! At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. I can't but do anything. Enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will I it ever can't be enough? Jump. I can't. Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Are you making a house out of dirt? Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes. <laughs> It's complete. That's I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Pretty crappy Gaze house. upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. There's nothing in there. I can't go in. Oh. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Um, okay. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Um, not that I'm aware of. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. Ooh. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even hey, the there's a spider. Couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Hey! That's pretty cool. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't actually, you know, interact with the stuff as you would with Minecraft, but... Oh, well. What can you do? He's working with a source engine. I'm not saying there's limited or anything, it's just not Minecraft. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You it, uh, trapped looks in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out well, what that's the hell this is. That's the portal song, I can't remember it's called. Wait. Do I get portals? That would be a possibility in the Source Engine game, wouldn't it? Oh! It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Hey. Your forte. Genius. Thank you.
No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need... Whee! No fall damage. Yeah. Where am I? Filing cabinet. Wait. What the? Where am I? Okay. I don't know where I am. Oh, where I'm going. But then again, I never, never really did at any point of this game. Okay, I actually did the loop. Do I live? Seven, that's my number. We eh? what I do. Um, Mr. Narrator. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's yes, Bruce. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Okay. I can wait. Um. Hello. Okay, we're back at the beginning, I guess. And with that being said, I'm going to end this episode here. And yeah, it feels good to finally have a video out for you guys to enjoy after six months. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until I see you guys next time, stay frosty.